It's hard to know how to put any language on what this has meant because it's the bringing together of cultures. Um, as somebody said at the end, Janet Stewart went out to the world and, and many of those cultures were back here together, um, drinking in what she's all about. Got a little hilarity in the background. <laughs> it really has been um, a very deep experience. Um, intellectually very stimulating, but my heart has just been exploding with with joy and gratitude for this deep dive into who Janet Stewart is, who she was in her day, but what she means to us um, as educators, as sisters, as people of our world today. And um, I don't know, I just, I, I, I couldn't be more grateful um, for this opportunity. feel as if I've kind of been absorbed into into the spirit of Janet Erskine Stewart from the beginning of the academic conference through to this one and I have loved the the historical setting of her writings and her life and her life in the society I have just found so sort of enriching and enlightening and just wonderful. I find the variety of it. You've seen so many different aspects of Janet Stewart, and just just now seeing that um, side of her, because Mary's looking at it from a, a novice director's perspective, it shows her in context, in a particular context. Um, and, and I love the sense of humour yes. that she had yes. that, that, that kept coming out. I think yes. the sense of humour really brought her to life. Yes, and all the talks have been wonderful. But somehow Mary's made Janet very real, not just a rather special person, but very human. Yes, yes. And it was it was about her, and it, because we, well, before that we've heard about her, her family and her different relations, relations and what they were up to and how they met or didn't meet. Um, and this was just Janet, the RSCJ. Yes, and, yes. Um, and how other RSCJs perceived her. Um, had various different relationships with yes. her. Yes. yes, we're able to share at different levels. Yes. Yes. That was very real. We haven't had the whole of today, today. No. but yesterday, by yesterday evening, I thought, well, oh, I could have that day all over again yes. and listen to them all again. Yes, yes. I, in the, one of the Janet Stewart booklets I was reading, it says, may we have a day laden with enriching um, experiences and hopeful opportunities. And I thought, well, both of these days have been absolutely full of that. Yes, it's very, very real. Okay. Yes. Well, I have found today a very rich day, looking at different aspects of Janet Stewart's life and also revealing many aspects that I hadn't heard of before. Um, I appreciate, her, I knew about her great love of nature and I think that is, is something which was brought out today. I liked also how don't look at the appearances, you go to the inside. Don't be put off or, uh, by appearances. So that for me also was something that I, uh, I remembered but it was nice to hear it again. What's been the highlight so far for you? It's difficult to say what because each one of them has been uh, so carefully researched and beautifully presented. It's hard to it's hard to sing, single out one of the the talks that we've had. No, I can't. How are you finding it? It's been wonderful. I really, um, I've learned a lot, that's a good thing. And we've had really good presenters. What's been the highlight so far? 
I think all the stories about Janet and her life and the way she's touched different people in their lives. Um, I've also really appreciated the connections made between her up upbringing and how she articulates her spirituality and her love of education and her pedagogy. Thank Plus you. meeting everybody from all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>How's it going? It's going well. Are we on? You're on, yes. <laughs> what would you like us to say? Well, I'd like you to tell me how you're finding the whole experience. It's been fantastic. It's been great. I mean, learning all the different angles on uh, uh, Janet Stewart coming from a school named for Janet Stewart, in fact, having yes, worked at a school named for Stewart. Greetings from Australia, from Stewart Home School. Uh, my name's Luke. I was a member of faculty, member of staff for eight years, and just coming here with uh, friends of, of Janet's uh, fantastic opportunity to, to take in by osmosis Janet's spirit. I'm Ray from San Francisco, Stuart Hall High School, teaching there now 14 years. Um, being here for the conference and for the retreat has just enriched my whole understanding of who Janet Erskine Stewart is for us. There's so much to take back to our school and share with others to begin to deepen um, who our schools, what our school's about and who it's, who it's for. And we certainly hope that uh, in all that we've done over this last few days, these last few days and last week, that uh, we are ourselves seriously begun. Seriously uh -huh. begun. Sergio Vasquez and I can't beat that. Yeah. Seriously begun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just give me one highlight. For me? Yeah, one sure, highlight. Sure. Uh, you know, I would have to say uh, meeting so many of the RSCJ, especially those from Ireland, uh, England, Wales, and Scotland, uh, who have a very different relationship with Mother Stewart uh, has taken it from the theoretical to the personal. And I think, if anything, it's all about being in a relationship. So it's been fantastic. And Mother Stewart began uh, something very special. Well, she actually carried it on, didn't she, really? But uh, I think it would be fair to say it's amazing how far we've come, but how close we've stayed. Mm -hmm. It. How's it been for you? What, today? Absolutely Yes, isn't it? This is Robin. Did you tell me to sit there? I did. 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 I Except for that one, yeah. which is Janet oh. Stewart's great nephew's wife. Yes, it's his mother. Yes, yes. Why don't we just think about this? Didn't she? Yes, I'm very proud of her. This one is so because it was so the reality. I know. You know, every now and then.
Oh, it's been a truly wonderful experience. It's been great to get to know Janet Stewart more, but also to feel as though I formed some relationship with her. But I think most of all, she would want us to have our own encounter with God. And there have been many of those during this time with God directly, but also through other people and the relationships that are formed. So it's been a really rich, blessed time. So, what brought you here? Ah. We're here to learn a lot about Janet Erskine Stewart <laughs> and to meet lots of people and to meet you in person, Silvana. <laughs> so, and we want to meet the yeah. people so that we may invite them to our Congress in November in Arizona and um, our Amas con Congress because Claudia is the, the Amas the uh, person responsible for young people, and I'm the world president. Okay. But we're both very interested in Janet Erskine Stewart. And how's it been so far? Wonderful. Very interesting as well. Yes. Very, we've learned, I think, I've learned a lot about Janet Erskine Stewart, but also just about society and history. I, I'm really, yeah. I like it a lot. And the, the standards of a Victorian era woman and how she transcended them and how sometimes she was subject to those standards and mores. A highlight so far? I think perhaps it was hearing the speakers talk about the links to Scotland and Ireland because they were totally unexpected to me. I wouldn't have imagined a woman who traveled so broadly, although I know she came to Canada. But I never thought about her traveling so much before she joined the society. And I like the part about Japan actually the most, I think. Just how she you know, integrated sacred heart values, but also Japanese culture and how she tried to, you know, let those live together nicely and peacefully while still, you know, pushing forward the sacred heart message. So okay. I like that talk the best until now. And Sue's talks are fantastic. <laughs> They've got the most depth, perhaps. But I've liked it all. There hasn't, and I've liked the camaraderie and the conversations outside the um, the talks. Thank you. Very I and we, the general counsel, are so happy to have been here for this conference. The research that's been done by so many people into details of Janet Stewart's life and her mission and her own personal journey uh, have touched us but also have awakened our interest even more because their enthusiasm is contagious. So we hope that part of the fruit of this conference is that we too will continue our spiritual journeys and to see into what future her life and her thinking may lead us. Thank you. And we came in the hope and the desire to get to know Janet Stewart um, better, to grow in relationship with her. But what she would want most of all is for us to have our own encounter with God. And that's where Robert and Sheila and Lorraine have led us so very beautifully. And I think the, the invitation to listen, to go more deeply, to be aware of Janet's word and of God's word, but the words that we have with and for one another were really enriched because of our liturgies and our Eucharist and our prayer. So I'm not going to repeat the, um, the talk that you gave to us, <laughs> but thank you for leading us through that and leading us um, to some of those goals, you, you talked about the first, second, and fifth goal and, and criteria afterwards, um, which helped us to realize how, how blessed we are to have such wonderful lay collaborators, lay leaders, really, to take that message of Madeline Sophie and Janet Stewart and the people who followed them into our Sacred Heart education. So, Fran, thank you very much indeed.
said that Richard needed an entire continent uh, to affirm his sense of adventure. And uh, I, I feel that you have found also uh, an entire continent, um, a match for your own sense of adventure. And for all of us here who are the world um, for welcoming us uh, in, in such a delightful way and for sharing with us uh, that memory and that vision uh, of a family that always calls us to go forward. Thank you. Thank you. Your presentation of the influence of the society on women's education in Japan. It was a most informative and sometimes quite entertaining presentation. I still have this image of the nuns dancing on the veranda <laughs> to, to, to keep warm when it was so cold. But it was also a story of great courage in the face of difficulties, especially state ownership of property in Japan and the conflict of war in Japan too. Uh, thank you for the challenges that you put out both today and yesterday about cultural understanding and thank you most of all for that vision of education which runs right throughout your whole presentation and excuse my pronunciation but um, I loved your delightful touch of the Celtic spirit it kindled my heart thank you from all of us And so on behalf of everybody, I'd like to uh, say a profound, a royal thank you. <laughs> Balanced presentation of the giftedness of this wonderful woman, but equally the fact that she was a human being. And that made her far more accessible to some of us, or to everybody, I would imagine. Um, so thank you for that and for the profound spirituality that went through it. Um, you made her human, but you made her a person loved by God, and that's what we're about. Mary, I can't, I'm running out of words, but not out of heart, so thank you. At the academic conference last week, a paper a day here. <laughs> And one would have thought that in between, there were two days free in between the two conferences, one would have thought that she would have um, lain low and sort of out of sight. Well, I wanted to see the memorial gardens across the street from Brockhampton, the cemetery, and what do I find there but Sue weeding the garden? <laughs> There is an old American song that I, I can't reproduce, but it says, you've given us da-da-da, but what have you done for us lately? Uh, and uh, Sue, so you have created in us a hunger and a thirst for more. And we really hope to follow up, and uh, that you will follow up, that is, and that we will really see you. <laughs> to all my friends here for doing the honours, very grateful. I've reserved um, the last uh, thank yous for myself. Um, <laughs> because um, I want, um, I think it was probably two or three years ago, and I know one or two people will shout at me, did you say four? I knew something was correct. Um, a group of our province got together as a committee to begin planning for celebrating Janet Stewart's centenary. And again, I'll get it wrong, but on that group was Sue and Mary and Margaret and Hilary and Lorraine and Sheila. 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 Sheila
all over these years, this committee has been meeting very regularly and um, obviously getting everything together. They've been backed up by a whole or whether it was being hostesses, going to the airport, um, looking after people in community. Um, so I actually want to begin by, by thanking our province, um, VNW, for all the work that I know has gone on behind the scenes. that I've had to do nothing except, except read long lists and be very impressed. Um, but I'd like particularly to thank, in, in that context, um, Janet, who's been, um, Mon has already thanked her, um, who's been doing the, uh, uh, whatever it is, the microphone. Uh, thank you, that's a lot. Thank you very much. And um, Sheila and Lorraine at the back there. Silvana, who was doing the uh, video, um, the, the runners around us, which was uh, Katie and Siobhan and Yukiko and Janet and who else have I left out? Um, actually, a lot of our PBTs uh, have been helping too, so thank you. You've been part of our, our um, organisation, so thank you very much. And um, the person who's kind of headed up the RSCJ effort has been Margaret. Margaret, will you stand up? <laughs> but from February, I think, she has thrown herself into um, mainly organising bed spaces, as far as I can make out. <laughs> <laughs> Memorabilia! <laughs> Memorabilia! Well, I'm just going to say that. She has also thrown her energies into um, the entrepreneurial way that she uh, usually does, which is producing all these memorabilia. And it's so, it's so impressive that it's all online as well. Um, so, Margaret, I can't thank you enough for heading all this up and taking it off the team's um, shoulders. We didn't have to think about it. Um, and uh, you've come out top, so thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And finally, Hillary. <laughs> And really, it's been Hillary who's done all the hard work. I mean, Margaret has, and mm. other people. But Hillary has been labouring for the past, is it two years? Three years? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I know because people have said to me how impressed you've been by um, the way that she's answered emails and queries. <laughs> without you, and it's all been tickety-boo. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm Helen Sinclair and I'm from Stuart Home School. But I am, <coughs> this evening and over this period of time, I have shared this wonderful time with a number of lay colleagues. I'd invite them to stand with me and together to offer to each member of the society a huge thank you for the wonderful welcome, for the hospitality, for the inclusion, and for the great honour that you have entrusted to each of us to work in your schools. They now are our schools, and we give thanks for that. Please join with me, colleagues.
Good went out from England to all these countries. And now, all of you have come to England, including our Superior General. Yes. So, thank you very much indeed, all of you who've made this journey to be with us. I think the most wonderful thing for me about this gathering has been our internationality. Yes, it's been the talks and everything else, but just having all of these members of our family together, it's been a great joy, so thank you for coming. Bye. 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 Bye.